Hi there, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Imola and I'm an online nutrition and fitness coach. Last week we ended with our reasons why we want to lose weight. And I just wanted to give you a bit of feedback in terms of what has happened the past week. And of course, the exciting part week two, the new challenge. So what has happened last week is that honestly, it has made such a huge difference. I've already explained a bit in the video from last week. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it because I believe setting your reasons why is so, so important when you start a weight loss journey because so many times something can happen that can drag you off of your path. And we all know there are multiple roads that leads towards your goals, but you need to actually write your goals down to know that this is why I'm training, this is why I'm focusing on my nutrition because there are days that it is really really tough and I'm actually going to walk you through one of those days myself. So the past week, past two weeks because it is Wednesday today, have been really really good. I had I think one day last weekend where we went to a birthday party and there was just some random foods, not the healthiest. That was a bit difficult but but other than that, the weeks have been really, really good. Even if we went for a takeaway or something or ate out for dinner, I just made sure that I had smaller meals. So instead of finishing a full pizza, I would just have half of the pizza and I would eat the other half for the next meal. And these are simple things, but they've been really helping me. And then of course, the reasons why the notes are still on my computer and on my snack drawer and on my fridge, having those physical reminders personally to me makes such a big, big difference. And I believe that it can be a big difference for you as well. But on top of this, on Monday, I made sure to make my goals a bit more specific. So basically I made smart goals out of the reasons why. So I have three reasons why. So number one is that I want to run a marathon. Number two is I want to run faster and further. And three, I just want to be a good example. So these three are really, really important to me in this stage in life that I'm in right now. I've made those a bit more smart because running a marathon, yeah, that, that can be very open, you know? So, oh, excuse me. What I did is that I made them more smart in my goals. So if, when it comes to the marathon, I don't just want to run a marathon, but I want to run it in a certain time. Already last year, I had planned in my head that I was going to do the marathon in three hours and 30 minutes. But now that I look back at it, that might be a bit of a hectic goal, a bit much. But at the same time, I want to challenge myself. So I wrote down, I want to run the marathon in under four hours. So if I get to the three hours 30 i'll be really really happy but if i do just under four hours i'll be happy too i just want to run one i think it's just going to be such a great experience such a good push you know to really do something that's hard then on top of that when it comes to running because i've been just more into running lately i have changed my weekly workout so if you're interested in that please go uh, go ahead and follow me on instagram because every single day when i do a workout i just post a little clip of what i did just to give you some insight, maybe some inspiration to go train for yourself. If you are interested in that though, by the way, leave a comment because I can do a full week of workouts and take you along on my new marathon training because I believe maybe more people might want to go in that direction, but that's for another video. I want to also run a bit faster, not only further, but also faster. So for my 5k, 10k and half marathon, I also said that I want to run a PB and it's just under the times I've run last year or the years before. I still feel like I'm a real beginner in running, so I do not have these crazy times or anything like that, but I just enjoy pushing myself from what I've had from my gymnastics for years. And in running, I feel I have that a bit more than in lifting weights. I do enjoy lifting weights. I'm still lifting weights, but not as much as I did because for running, I don't need huge biceps. Not that I have huge biceps, even though I do feel sometimes like I'm big as a muscular, but it's actually, I guess, not that bad. These goals have really helped me this week 
in particular to focus on my training, to focus on my nutrition, and it's been going really, really well. Although the skill weight has not been going down, but like I said last week as well, I started taking creatine again, and I'm definitely holding a bit more water weight. I even feel it. It's okay, you know, at least I'm not going up like crazy in weight. It's still around the 60k mark. Some days I even still hit 59, so I'm not too concerned about the weight, making sure I hit my protein target, making sure I don't overeat. So I'm still in a caloric deficit, which is really, really important. So in my head, ideally, I want to weigh between 55 and 57. I do believe I might be able to go lower in weight, but I don't know if I want to do that now. First, I want to go under 59 consistently because that's been where I'm just struggling. At the same time, I'm not too concerned about the number. So things that I'm doing every single day to make sure I reach my goal. Sleep. I'm really, really trying my best to sleep for eight hours at least. My bedtime, don't laugh. I'm usually in bed around nine. Yeah, it's some people may find it very early, but the thing is my alarm goes at six in the morning. Sometimes even before six, depends what I'm doing. Then I just do my evening routine. So, you know, like brush your teeth, do some sort of facial hair. Uh, I'm not big on it, but I have some sort of routine that I do. I go into bed, depends how tired I am. I might read for a bit and I put on my lovely sleeping mask and I put on, sometimes we're putting on some white noise on the background makes me sleep like a baby first thing in the morning is going to the toilet empty my bladder empty my stool and then i step on the scale i do this every single morning just to get the most accurate weight measurement i can get i do that i just write the number down i try to not over analyze it because at the end of the day it's just a number just write it down we have the whole notebook filled with our weight from i think already a year at least from this one but I've been tracking my weight for a long time. It's just something that helps me be accountable to myself. Then I usually drink some water. So I have this one next to my bed as well, almost finished it. In the morning, try to make sure to drink. I think from the time I wake up until 12, I already finished like two liters of water, just because I feel good when I hydrate. I, live, I feel just so good. So that's what I do. During work, I also try to reach for my bottle and having a bottle next to you makes you reach out to it a lot more. So it depends on the type of workout if I have breakfast. So I calculate, I have a set amount of calories for myself and a set amount of grams of protein per day, which I try to reach every single day and it just depends do i have breakfast do i feel hungry do you can i push it today so if i'm really trying to balance that and just listen to my body just listen to what it needs because sometimes if you have a heavy workout it's best to eat afterwards and sometimes if the workout was okay i don't particularly need to eat i can push it up to lunchtime and i can maybe have another snack i usually have either two meals or a snack or three meals and no snack it works for me. <laughs> so when I do my meals, I focus on my protein, I focus on vegetables, and I just have a little bit of carbs. Definitely also important to not skip on carbs, but just to, I'm just trying to be aware of my portion sizes. So sometimes I'm literally grabbing a smaller plate if I make something that I really enjoy, which is most of the time. I take a smaller plate for when it's time for lunch or dinner, because even if I fill the plate, it's at least not as big as the big plate. You get what I'm saying? And that way I just hold myself accountable. Other than that, so the water, the sleep, and for me, the steps are very important. And having a step goal just really helps me be aware of how active I am during the day. And I've noticed not only by myself, but also by my clients, just having that goal there makes you more aware of walking. So you walk just a bit more or a bit further, or you go for an actual walk instead of, I don't know, sometimes I just call my friends or my family while I walk. So it's like two in one, or, or I can watch something on my phone while I walk. It's just important to get the steps in. It's also nice, especially if the weather is good, you get some fresh air, so it's a win-win situation. Then of course my strength training sessions are very important. I still want to keep my muscle. Now I'm focusing on, I guess you can say toning my legs. I'm not not happy with my legs, but compared to my upper body, I feel like my upper body has a much more toned figure. 
and I'd like to have that in my legs. Plus for running, I need to make sure to really train those legs because most injuries from running come from your legs. So just make sure for yourself, if you want to start a weight loss journey, start with week one, then week two. So week one, get yourself physical reminders. I, I just can't tell you enough how much they've helped me. Then two, set yourself smart goals. Because those two combined, you can even put the proper smart goals under or next to the reasons why. I might actually do that, but I'll, I'll think about it because I don't want to overclutter my house with notes. But at the same time, it's nice because I feel like it's not only helping me, it has also been helping the people around me knowing that I'm actually onto something. So they're not asking if I want things that are unhealthy or processed because they know that I'm working towards something big. So that's also another thing that I can tell you, just try it out. I mean, yeah, maybe some people may find it weird, but it helped me so much. Just been very excited to actually, you know, continue in the new year because sometimes it's hard, especially that the new year is here. You know, the first month you want to see so many results, you want to do this, 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 and this, and then the motivation drops. But I feel like having this, and it's going to be a 40 week challenge plan. So it's not like, oh, a few weeks is done. No, we're going to build up on this. And if you want to start your weight loss journey, any questions or anything else, please leave a comment if you want to see something else on the channel. Also, please leave a comment if you enjoyed this video, like it. If you know someone else that's on the weight loss journey and this might help them, please feel free to share it. And I see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you.